Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous LED heart in a light bulb lamp. The materials that I have used are a clear light bulb. This can either be the bayonet type that's common in the UK or the Edison screw type. If you're looking for these in the UK, then they're commonly called rough service or heavy duty lamps. I got two for a pound in a pound shop. We're also going to need 14 red 3mm LEDs. I purchased 100 of these on eBay for £1.99. For the connections to the LEDs, we're going to need some flexible insulated copper wire, some stiff copper wire and some heat shrink tubing. A cork that fits the end of the light bulb. For the light stand, I used 28mm copper tubing and some scrap wood. So now that we've got all the materials, we can start. And the first job is to open up the light bulbs. And the way that we do that, if you're using a bayonet type bulb, is to drill through the two contacts and then use some needle nose pliers to, to break away the insulator. If you're using a screw type bulb with a single contact, you can just get some pliers, rip off the contact and then break away the insulator. For the next part, you should really wear gloves, which obviously I didn't. I used a Dremel drill with a two millimeter drill bit and I'm just drilling through the contact and you'll see it just comes away. Repeat the process for the other contact and you'll be left with the two holes from the contact. So now what we do is use the thin nose pliers to break open the insulator. The material is pretty tough but eventually it gives way. Depending on the design of the bulb, the element will either come away with the insulator or you can just break it away with the pliers. At this point we're left with an empty bulb but it does have some sharp edges inside. So I used a grindstone in the Dremel to very carefully grind away all of the sharp edges. Finally wash all the debris from the light bulb and we're then ready for the second stage which is to make the LED heart. To start with I made a template which you can find on my website and I checked whether the two halves of the heart would fit into the bulb by making them with stiff wire. Once I knew that it would fit I printed out the template onto cardboard and punched holes for the 3mm LEDs and then cut it out to make it easier to handle. The heart is made in two sections which I've marked in red and blue. Select the first LED and find the long lead. This is the positive side of the LED and we're going to bend this over with the pliers. Starting with the red side, install it into the template with the bent lead pointing towards positive. Now we do exactly the same thing with the second LED bending the long positive lead and then installing it into the template with the long lead pointing towards positive. Now bend over the short lead on the second LED to meet the long lead on the first LED. Now trim the lead lengths ready for soldering. And then solder the two leads together. Trim the long positive lead on the second LED and we can now go through the same process with the third LED.
So what we're creating is a string of LEDs where the long leg on one LED always connects to the short leg on the next LED. Carry on installing the rest of the LEDs. Once the red side of the LED heart is completed, we can work on the blue side, just orienting the LEDs according to the template. That's both sides completed. And now we're going to join them using some flexible copper wire. Remove the insulation for greater flexibility and give it a twist. Then use the wire to connect the unused LED leads at the top of the heart. And solder in place. Trim the excess wire. Now we need some stiff copper wire, so I've stripped the insulation off some house wire and then tinned the ends ready for soldering to the LEDs. Lined the wires up with a helping hand and then soldered them in place. The final part of making the LED heart was just to add some heat shrink tubing. The next stage is to put the LED heart into the light bulb, but it's a good idea to test it first. You can find information about how to power it later in the video. To put the LED heart into the light bulb, we fold it in half, making use of the flexible link wire and carefully manipulating it into the bulb. And now use the stiff wires to open up the heart. The base of the bulb is made from a cork with two holes drilled through it to mount the LED heart. I used a Dremel with a 1mm drill bit. Carefully push the stiff wires from the LED heart through the cork. And then push the cork into the base of the light bulb. The cork makes for a pretty good fit, but for a more permanent solution, you can secure it with epoxy adhesive. Push some heat shrink tubing onto the twin wire, then solder the wires to the leads on the bulb. I have soldered the plain wire to the positive side of the LED heart and the wire with a black stripe to the negative side. And finally heated the heat shrink tubing to protect the connections. The base is made from 28mm copper tubing which is just over an inch in diameter and a 70mm or 2 and 3 quarter inch square block of wood. I cut a hole in the wood with a 25mm or 1 inch hole saw. Then I used a Dremel with a sanding wheel to increase the diameter of the hole until it accepted the copper tube. I cut the wood to size. And sanded it. Drilled a hole for the cable. Threaded the cable through the copper pipe and the wooden base.
and then push the base of the bulb into the copper pipe. The final part of this project is how to power the lamp. The heart has 14 2 volt LEDs, so we need a 28 volt power supply. The parts we need are a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery connector, a 220 ohm resistor, and an adjustable step up boost module. The resistor is easily available on Amazon, eBay, or from any electronic component supplier. Resistors have a color code that indicates their value. If the resistor has four bands, then it will be red, red, brown. The fourth band is the tolerance and can be brown, red, gold or silver and for this application it doesn't matter. If the resistor has five bands then it will be red, red, black, black and the fifth band is the tolerance. They also have a power rating and quarter watt is a good choice. The step up boost module is also cheap and easy to obtain. This one has an XL6009 chip and it boosts voltage up to 35 volts. The battery is connected to the in terminals on the left and the lamp to the out terminals on the right. The screw on the blue component is used to adjust the output voltage. You can also buy these with an LED display on board which shows the output voltage. So first of all we need to install the resistor in the positive lead from the lamp. That's the one without a black stripe. The way I did that was to cut the plain wire, solder the resistor in place and cover the connections with heat shrink tubing. Next we need to solder the battery connector to the boost module. The red positive lead from the connector goes to the positive in terminal on the module and the black negative lead goes to the negative in terminal. Before we solder on the lamp connections we need to set the output voltage for the module. To do this we connect the battery and check the output with a voltmeter. If you have a module with an LCD display you can use that instead. We are aiming to set the output voltage to 30 volts and we can adjust it by turning the screw on the blue potentiometer on the module. Finally, solder the lamp leads onto the module output terminals with the plain wire going to the positive out and the wire with the stripe going to the negative out. So that's the project finished. You can now connect the battery to turn the lamp on. And then if you want to reduce the light output, then you can turn the little potentiometer screw clockwise to reduce the voltage. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.